They miss one crucial quality that a human has that an Asian doesn't, that is taste. The world's largest Figma UI kit is now available to us to use in Cursor as a React component library. I mean, look at these marketing blocks. We can simply just copy and paste them into our app and then adapt our brand and copy. These free user avatars are a real treat because we can change the color, we can create a neutral background, transparent, and there are tons of them. Look at all of these. If you're a designer, you probably use or at least already know about Untitled UI, arguably the most popular UI kit ever created. So when Jordan Hughes, the creator of Untitled UI, announced that a React kit is coming, I got super excited. In this video, I'm going to give you a full overview of this massive world-class UI kit for React, how to install it using Cursor, and how to build your pages with minimal effort. By the end of this video, we'll have a fully responsive landing page ready to adapt to our own brand in Cursor. But first, how is this kit different to the ever-popular Shad CN, seemingly used by most Vibe coders? Let's take a look. I wanted to quickly let you know about my two flagship Coding with AI courses. The first course teaches you how to build a complete full stack SaaS app using Cursor. You'll integrate essential tools like Stripe for payments, AI services, and email, all while building with Next.js, Superbase, and Vercel. It's everything you need to go from zero to production ready web apps. The second course is for anyone who wants to build a native mobile apps with Cursor. You'll learn how to create a fully functional app with in-app payments, push notifications, AI features, and email integrations. And you'll finish by deploying your app to the Apple App Store and Google Play. And the best part, you don't need to know how to code. I'll teach you how to think like a product engineer and guide the AI model to build your app with you. If there's ever been a time to learn how to build with AI, it's right now. So come join me. The key difference between Shad CN and Untitled UI is that Shad CN is more foundation-based. And yes, Untitled UI also has the foundation. And it's really about component-level foundation. So in Shad CN, you would install an accordion to then create maybe a card component where users can make selections, such as an FAQ. It has avatars and breadcrumbs and buttons, and calendars. And this is a really great way for AI agents to be able to build larger UI elements, such as blocks. And here are some creative blocks made up of smaller elements. Now, Untitled UI really take this to the extreme because their focus is taking it a step further beautifully created blocks and full pages by one of my favorite designers. He's totally world-class. I mean, 10,000 plus components and variants, 420 page examples. We've got icons and logos, a huge icon set. And look at the different companies using Untitled UI. How can you not get excited about this? So if we jump into, for instance, the React component library, we can see that we also have component level UI elements. Here is a date picker. So similar to what we saw with Shad CN. So we can have all these building blocks. There are a lot more options here though. But I think the exciting part for me is if we head over to marketing, we have header navigations. Look at this. You can simply just copy this into your app and adapt it for your own use case. Fully responsive as well. Unreal. Head down to the header section, and we are going to be building this very shortly. Here is a header section with navigation. Pretty great. Features section. You can literally just stack these different sections on top of each other to create 
full operational landing pages. And all you need to do is then adapt the copy, the color, uh, and exchange the images. Because I think we are still a way off from AI agents to be able to design like this because they miss one crucial quality that a human has that an agent doesn't, that is taste. I'd rather use something designed by a world-class designer, a human at this stage, than rather just an LLM who is going to be designing everyone's pages in a very, very similar vein. This is how you gain the edge. We have CTA sections, tons of them. And all we need to do is exchange the copy and the images. Newsletter sections. Blog sections, blog pages, in fact. All with interactions, drop downs. Everything you really need to build both marketing and dashboards. Here are some landing page examples. So guys, you can literally copy these landing pages straight into your app. Look at this entire landing page. I mean, with minimal effort, <laughs> you can just get up and running straight away. I really like the login and sign up pages as well. These toggles. Another great thing about untitled UI is its avatars that you can change the background with. Transparent default, look at all of these. Insane, we can just click to copy or we can actually download the files ourselves. And you've probably seen these logos used absolutely everywhere. I myself tend to use them a lot when I'm designing. I see this, I actually see this logo everywhere, but there are many and Jordan is always adding to this kit. This is really nice. So these aren't real companies and you're welcome to use these logos for yourself and adapt them as you see fit. Just goes on forever. Now I tend to use Next.js and here's a Next.js integration. I'm gonna walk you through it now. But also to say that you can use this with V0, Bolt, Replit, Gemini, Lovable, etc. To get Next.js up and running, all I need to do is open up a terminal, copy the command and just run through these questions. And I've already gone ahead and done this and I've chosen indigo as my brand color. So let's jump into cursor. So I went ahead and ran the command to install untitled UI and then opened the folder in cursor. I ran pnpm dev to start the server and this is where we're at. Up and running on localhost 3000. Let's start building our landing page. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to marketing. Let's have a look at the header sections. We've got tons to choose from. I really like these dashboard ones, ones of the laptops. The one we'll go ahead and do this one here because this is kind of tricky. Here we have like an angled image. So I'm going to copy the CLI command. I'm going to switch over to cursor. I'm going to open up a new tab and simply paste in the command, hit return. Going to press return again for components. Don't want to overwrite anything, so I'm going to select no. And it says the following files already exist in the directory. Okay, let's go have a look. So we'll go to source, components, marketing, and we have a new header section. So quite simply, I'm just going to use the AI agent to add this hero section to our landing page. And what it's gonna do is pop into the app. It's gonna look for the page or the home screen actually, and it's gonna add it here. Let's save that and let's go check it out. All right, localhost 3000. I chose Indigo as my brand color specifically on the setup in the terminal and it's pulling it through. Got the hover effects, excellent. And all I need to do is just change my logo and obviously just update these options here. 
Let's check out responsive. Look at this, good to go. Gosh, this saves so much time. Let's add something else. So we've done our header, and what about a feature section? Let's add this feature section here with the grid. Copy the CLI command, head back to cursor, paste it in. I would like to add it to components and it's called features simple zero two. I'm gonna copy this, come back here, add below the hero section, hit return. While that is working, I'm going to switch across and I'm expecting the new section to be added below this hero section. Quick refresh, here is here. <laughs> Amazing. Let's check out responsive. I love that we don't have to think about this. You can see that this is a lot more intentional and more thought thoughtfully designed. These buttons have like a 3D shadow effect, something that you're not going to get from an LLM. Okay, look at these breakpoints, stunning. And LLM is not going to be able to do this at the moment because it just doesn't have taste. What's next? Keep that. How about a metric section? Let's try this one here. Copy the CLI command, run it in the terminal. Whack it in components, and let's prompt it. Keep it super simple. Let the agent now add it below the previous section. Let's check it out. Scroll down. Here it is here, using my brand color, good to go. Let's add one more. So we have a newsletter section. <laughs> this is quite significant actually. Let's, uh, let's add this one. Make this uh, little mock-up here. Obviously I can go ahead and change this mock-up myself. Let's run this. Whack it in components, copy the name of the component. <laughs> so you can see that my commands, uh, my instructions to cursor agent are becoming shorter and shorter because the agent has picked up uh, on what the objective is here. So I'm just copying the components, whacking them in, we're gonna build the landing page and then I'm gonna show you how to then adapt it. Looks like it's in. Scroll down, here it is here. Absolutely amazing. So how would we change some of this text? Well, one thing we can do is simply prompt it. So I could say, change the H1 in the hero to reference a title about a chatbot service. We can actually drop in our PRD and do this in bulk if we like. Okay, we can see what it's editing. We can click on that. And it's gonna change it to intelligent chatbot solutions for your business. Here we go. Good to go. So an approach I like to take is getting these all in, the different sections, the layout is done for you, beautifully designed, it just needs new metadata. So that would usually come from my PRD product requirement documents, or I can just go through, uh, comb through each component and I can change it directly uh, in the code. I can adapt the Tailwind or I can just use the AI agent, give the AI agent instructions of how to adapt it. I'm gonna include the links below, you can go ahead 
check this out. Um, I think Jordan Hughes has done an incredible job here and this is gonna be my go-to for the future for all of my marketing-based assets.